Furthermore, there is a misconception that Hindus should not have non-veg. It's misconception. If you read the Hindu scriptures, it's mentioned in Manusmiti, chapter number 5, verse number 30, that Almighty God created some animals to eat and some to be eaten. If you eat the animals that have been created to be eaten, you're not doing a sin. It's mentioned in Manusmiti, chapter number 5, verse number 31, that Almighty God has created some animal for sacrifice. So if you kill the sacrificial animal, you are not doing a sin. It is mentioned in Manusmiti, chapter number 5, verse number 40, that killing in sacrifice is not a sin. There are various references in the Hindu scriptures and the Vedas that the sages and sons, they had non veg they even had beef. If you read Mahabharat Anushasan Parv, chapter number 88, you know the story of the Pandavas. You know Pandavas? Five brothers, the eldest brother Yudhishthir, he asks Bhishma that what should we give in Yagna, in Puja, so that our ancestors will be satisfied. So Bhishma replies that if you give herbs and shrubs and vegetables, our ancestors will be satisfied for one month. If you give fish for two months, if you give meat for three months, if you give hair, rabbit for four months, if you give goat for five months, if you give bacon for six months, if you give birds for seven months, if you give deer, eight months, and the menu continues, if you give buffalo for 11 months, if you give cow, our ancestors will be satisfied for one full year. And if you want your ancestors to be satisfied inexhaustibly, give red meat of goat or a rhinoceros. Who says that? Bhishma to Yudhishthir. The full menu is there. Vegetables, fish, rabbit, goat, everything is there. Buffalo, cow. So even in Hindu scriptures, eating non-veg is permitted. It is many of the Hindus, because they were being influenced by other philosophies of Ahimsa, they started practicing it. And this people who follow Ahimsa, that's non-violence, not killing any living creature, if any human being can lead a life without killing living creatures, I'm for it. What they say, killing animal is a big sin because their life, killing life is prohibited. Today science has advanced and we have come to know that even the plants have got life. So by eating vegetables, you're killing life also. But the logic has changed. No, no, we understand that the plants have got life, but the plants can't feel pain. Therefore, killing a plant is a lesser sin as compared to killing an animal. For sake of argument, I agree. Today science tells us that the human ear can hear frequencies between 20 cycles per second to 20,000 cycles per second. Anything below and above, we can't hear. Today, science tells us that even the plant cries, but the human ear cannot hear. So there was a farmer in USA who had equipment which converted the cry of the plant to the human ear, and he used to know that that required water. Someone would say, okay, okay, fine, I agree that the plant can feel pain, but you know, it has got two or three senses less. Therefore, killing a plant is a lesser sin as compared to killing an animal which has got five senses. For sake of argument, I agree that plants have got two senses less as compared to the animal. I'm asking you a question. That suppose your brother, God forbid, if he's born deaf and dumb, and when he grows up, someone comes and kills him. So will you go and tell the judge, me, Lord, give the murderer less punishment because my brother, he was deaf and dumb. Will you say that? You will tell the judge, give him a bigger punishment. My brother was masoom. He could not hear, he could not speak. So in Islam, it does not work like that. Two senses more, two senses less. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 168, eat of the good things we have provided for you. What is good, what is tajab, you can have. And furthermore, I personally have got no problem. If the non-Muslim don't want to have non veg I've got no problem, personally. Only when they tell me it's a sin, or you tell me it's against humanity, I give the reply. Personally, if the non-Muslims continue having vegetarian, good for me. If all the non-Muslims start having non-veg, then the price of mutton and beef will go high. Personally, I've got no problem.